In this video, we're going to be using Ethos Blood Orange and the Alpha Outlaw Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at LEAF. And now, back to the video. And all right, folks, we are back. Welcome in, welcome in. We have a good one for you today, I believe, because we are using the very expensive Ethos Blood Orange. And I'll say right off the top, this has the most beautiful orange scent that I think I've ever experienced. Just pure blood orange. It is absolutely spectacular. But the price on here is not spectacular. This is $38 for four ounces. And on our cost chart there, it's way off the chart. It's $9.50 an ounce, which is the in the painful. I probably should create a new chart and put it at the absurd level because it is just absurd for the price. But I do love the scent. And you know, I always say I'll pay for a good scent. But honestly, this one, even though I love the scent, nine something an ounce is expensive even for a great scent, in my opinion. Uh, this is really, really good. But man, oh man, I did get a good lather with it. I'll show you the ingredients. Uh, right there. Uh, it was not hard to lather. It is very, very soft. So the value on this is just, I don't think, probably a great value by any stretch of the imagination. Super soft, but man, it smells great. And I did get a good lather with it. And we'll try to keep an open mind today. But I got to say, for the price of this, and I've used Ethos before, uh, it's a very good soap. But to me, um, based on my last use, it didn't strike me as a, you know, $9 an ounce soap. But hopefully today it will change our mind. We shall see. It is, I believe, the the oils or essential oils from Italy or something. I don't care anything whatsoever about that, but it does smell good. You can't take that away from the soap. It smells phenomenal. If you love orange scents and you want to treat yourself to something really nice, this might be a soap worth considering, but I know a lot of you won't even consider it because it's just so pricey that it's, you know, it's just, that's absurd. <laughs> All right, the... Uh, the razor for today is the Alpha Outlaw Razor, and I believe last I checked this was on sale at Alpha for $109.99. This is all stainless steel, has some of the best knurling on this handle that I've ever experienced on a razor. It's really, really nice. I have the .72 blade gap on it, and I really like using this razor, so we look forward to using that today, and let's get going. We'll start by misting the face, and I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And don't forget to catch us tonight, 8 p.m. on So Sharp David's uh, Instagram. We'll be back for real talk tonight, so I hope to see you there, and we'll maybe talk about this soap. I tell you, the scent on this is definitely phenomenal. If it were like six dollars an ounce, I would be perfectly happy with it based on the scent, but at nine, it's like, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. It's not like worth two of, two of, you know, really good soaps, and honestly, the leather is quite good, but it's not spectacular. You know, it's it's, it's very good, and the quality, I think, is going to be really good, too. But there's just too many soaps that are $4 an ounce that are just as good quality-wise, in my opinion. And I've used many, many soaps, as you, <laughs> as you know. So this one, for me, this brand would be a treat yourself if you found a really nice scent. You just felt like splurging. Uh, otherwise, you know, it carries a big price, and I think a lot of people perhaps are attracted to it before because of that, because they're making assumptions it's gonna be the, the greatest thing they've ever used. And for me, it's not, um, based on my last use. But we'll put the razor to the face and see. But here's the problem, folks. I get terrific shaves every day. I get terrific shaves with soaps like Razor Rock less, less, less than a dollar per ounce. So something like this for me is, is tough, is, is tough because, you know, I can't really sink my hooks into anything to justify that price because is it going to be slick? Sure. Is it going to be nice? Sure. But everything else is too. That's the problem with the $9 an ounce soap in my opinion. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get down to business. The shave is where the rubber meets the road after all. It does smell great. So, I mean, you can't take that away from this soap. And that feels beautiful just as expected. Absolutely beautiful. The scent on this, just phenomenal. It does make me happy, the scent, and uh, I love this. I just, you know, for me, it's about $3 <laughs> an ounce too expensive. 
if it were just into that painful realm of six plus, I would be like, okay, I, this is a treat for me. But now it's like, I've just punched myself in the, you know what, you know, bye bye. <laughs> and so who wants to do that? But you know, quality wise, nice. Is it the best soap I've ever used? No, it's not. And so you can find better for less in my opinion. Some people will, will uh, argue with that and, and a lot of people like to use this brand and I think they definitely make some nice soaps, but um, I've had better for half the price, to be honest with you, less than half the price. Um, so if you're minding your budget, you know, this might not be one you uh, look to. Uh, and especially for new people, don't think that you're going to get a miracle when you buy a $9 an ounce soap that it's just going to transform your shaving routine because it is not likely to. You are the most important element of your shave, as I always like to say. If you're a good shaver, you'll shave well almost with anything. Uh, but don't think this is going to change your life if you're new especially. Now, if you ha happen to have a very specific set of skin conditions and you find this works, then I'll never deny your experience, but based on my experience, many, many years doing this and well over a thousand soaps through here, uh, it, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just going to be a solidly good soap and in a, in a sea of solidly good soaps, to be very honest with you. So I would say this is very good soap, but it's not $9 an ounce good. And I could just feel that on the first pass. Is it, is it slicker than A&E or Barrister and Man or the other top soaps of the day? No, no. It, it's right there with them, perhaps. Um, but, it, but in my opinion, not better. And the essential oil thing, I think it's nice to do, you know, when you get the opportunity. But is it worth that kind of price during these times? No. Uh, but I will say that I very much like this scent. So if you're just looking for, for an orange scent, you're a big fan of orange and you want something that's really beautiful, he's done a masterful job on the scent. So I give credit there where credit is due. And they've had some, um, I, I, th I think I had the lime one as well and I got that one on sale. And even then, I was like, you know, it's a good soap, but, you know, in a sea of good soaps, like I said. So that's just my opinion on it. Others will disagree. Those who probably, you know, buy this all the time. That's entirely okay. We can agree to disagree. Your experience is yours and mine is mine. But um, my perspective is I'm here for you, the viewers. Um, and I'm here to always to tell you the truth as I see it. And if I really feel something was great at 950 an ounce, I would tell you so. But this one, um, you know, it, it's it's just it's just too much, and it's really that simple. But I will say, it is giving me enjoyment. You know, I'm just trying to be realistic about the cost here. Uh, I'm definitely enjoying the scent, though. So so from that perspective, from the perspective of enjoying the scent, it is fantastic. So that's, uh, I give it high marks on the scent. On the soap quality itself, it's, it's just uh, a, a very good soap and a sea of good soap. I don't think the soap itself does something that any other, you know, of the so-called top brands do. So if you're looking, if quality is really your issue, I'm not sure you're going to get much out of this. Like if you're looking for a soap that's just orders of magnitude slicker, or even slicker at all, to be honest with you. Uh, I would not look here, personally. I would look here for scents, um, because he does make some rather exotic scents using some rather exotic essential oils, according to the marketing. And we take their word for that, of course. Um, I think that's one of the things that elevates the cost of these soaps, is he's getting these essential oils from all over. He had a vanilla one that was crazy expensive, and I was like, holy mackerel. But you know, you, you have to make your own decisions. But uh, my, my objective here is just to always speak with full candor about all products that I use. And today is one of those days where we say, phenomenal scent, very good soap. But once again, you know, 
I can't even justify it for myself, really, um, if I'm being completely honest. So that's sort of the lesson for today. I think you'd be better served, particularly if you're new, buy yourself a couple of other soaps, you know, and, and have a little more variety. That's what I would do. Um, however, you should make your own choices. Uh, and I always say, make sure you go out and listen to many people, not just me. I'm not the end-all be-all. I'm only speaking for myself and from my own perspective and experience. So make sure you take in a lot of information before you make a purchase like this because this is a large purchase for a shaving soap for four ounces. So just keep that in mind. But I will have to, I will have to say it was a very nice shave. So let me rinse, then we'll get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no staining, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice shave indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we towed off with their Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. Here's what I'll say about Ethos uh, Blood Orange. Beautiful, beautiful orange scent. If you love orange and you want to get something unique, this is a soap worth trying. But based on quality, honestly, uh, in my opinion, there's no way this is worth almost twice the cost of a Barrister and Man soap or a A&E soap or any of the so-called top soaps of the day. At 9.50 an ounce, the cost is just ridiculous on this and I can't justify it based on quality. It makes a good lather, but quite frankly, I get better lathers with things that are far less expensive. Um, for me, this is just uh, not a great value in, by any stretch of the imagination and I can't recommend uh, this soap at the price to be very honest with you, just can't do it. Um, we used our PAA Switchback 400 brush today and it's in our Lancaster Razorworks brush soaking mug and we'll finish it out off cam with the wet the face, the quiet man uh, aftershave and don't forget, catch us tonight at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time on Real Talk. I'll put the slide on there for you. We got a lot of things to discuss and catch up on. I hope to see you there. And remember, folks, it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.